Hi, this is Phil Wilkes, and this is a demonstration of using a fluid source in the Fluidos plugin for Carrera. I think one or two people have had problems in getting this to work. Um, so I've set up a, a scene already. I've got a standard fluid domain. The only thing I've changed is changed the resolution to 0.3 um, to make it calculate faster. And I've put a cube in, and I've, I've put the cube just in the bottom couple of feet but matched all the dimensions. So actually when this is already calculated and when you run this, um, you can see that it's it, nothing happens because um, the fluid is just sitting there in the bottom of the fluid domain. So what we're going to do is to add a fluid source or sink and I'm going to move it up to kind of the middle make sure it's in the the fluid domain and I'm going to parent it to the fluid domain so there we're going to have a source and that's all set up now um, we can have a look at the parameters for the source the same object can be a source or a sink but we've got fluid source checked we've got activate checked and at the moment it's got x velocity of 10 and I actually want it to sort of spray over this way, over the Y. So I could rotate it, but what I'm going to do is to zero that. And on the Y dimension, I'm going to put a 10 in there. And just to make it slightly more interesting, what I'm going to do is to um, put some keyframes in. So at two seconds, I'm going to rotate it over that way. four seconds. I'm going to rotate it back over this way and I'm just going to drag the initial keyframe with an alt control um, over here. Well, let's make that about five seconds. I'm going to just move those keys so it should give some sort of nice movement. And at this point, let's turn it off. So that's to deactivate it. So if we go back to the beginning, we can see that it will rotate one way, rotate over to the other. And just before um, the final keyframe, it's, ac it's activated. After the keyframe, it's not activated. So that should sort of spray water first one way, then the other, then come back and then stop. So if we now go to the fluid domain, uh, we can calculate that and see what the results will get. And I'm just going to skip to the end of the calculation so you don't have to watch the, the progress bar. So here we've got the results of the fluid simulation. And if I just run that through, you can see that that is now producing water as we expected. So you can animate it. You can change the size um, to get larger or smaller flows. And obviously you can change the, the flow rate as well here um, and activate and deactivate it as you go. So plenty of flexibility. Um, don't forget you can also use it as a sink so that will absorb any fluid that touches it. So if you've got say a drain on a bath you could use it on that to, to drain the bath in a realistic manner. So I'll go ahead and uh, render that out um, with some better materials and stick the final render on the end of this video.